how much do Tesla superchargers make for Tesla in terms of revenue, profits, how does that help with EPS, the stock price, all that. Finally, I got this video. I got all these numbers and formulas and everything that's needed because this is a pretty complex way of calculating it on a wide scale because with Tesla, anything that we evaluate with Tesla, it has to be with scale because that's what they're really good at doing scaling and superchargers are probably one of the best things and easiest things that they can scale right now in five years time 10 years time when pretty much every single vehicle on the planet does turn electric or you know is replaced with electric vehicles because that is the inevitable future so we're going to take a look at how much they generate now at the moment with about six million vehicles on the road how much they're going to generate when they have about 40 50 million vehicles on the road electric vehicles for teslas in 2030 and how much they're going to generate when there's about 350 million or 400 million evs that's not only this tesla's but everybody else because they've all pretty much adapted the north american charging standard that tesla made so they're going to be using 100 percent going to be using tesla superchargers in the future and that's where the biggest difference is going to happen and i'm going to be showing you guys how that works in these formulas i am also going to make this available on patreon as soon as i do clean it clean it up a little bit and all that stuff so finally we got this video this formula this all this i'm going to show you guys in this video so I'm pretty excited, pretty pumped. Smash that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's go. So before we begin, I made a note chart here. I think these are things that we should know. It is pretty important. And it's something that we do need to know when we're making these assumptions and estimates. Now, of course, this is only a prediction, not facts, guys. Not financial advice, anything, that, nothing like that. But the notes are pretty important. So first up here is we have 25 cents, 35 cents kilowatt per hour is how much it gets charged. Now, Tesla vehicles do range between like 55 to 60 kilowatts per hour, all the way up to like 120. But we're gonna be averaging it down to like 70 i think that would make that's fair today at the recording of this video we have 6 million teslas on the road right now all around the world 2 million of that is in the u.s almost 2 million of that near 1.7 1.8 is in china the rest is in europe canada mexico all those places tesla has since march of 31st of 2024 they have almost 6,250 supercharger stations globally. And this number is going to be over 7,000 by end of this year. And in China, they have around 2,000 at the moment. Miles driven annually at the average in the United States is 14,263. So that is insane how much people drive in the US. That's crazy. That's like half of China. And the reason because of that is because they have a lot of trains, bullet trains, all that kind of stuff. UK is a lot lower. It's a smaller country, 5,500. Canada, where I'm from, nearing 10,000. Nonetheless, I'm going to average all this down, you know, including Europe and so many other countries to about 8,000. I think that would make sense. 8,000 miles is the average amount of, you know, distance traveled for everybody in the world to keep things simple. Very important things to keep note going forward is these three notes right here. We have total EVs globally in the world. By end of 2023, there was 40 million. So this this includes the Teslas, the Volkswagens, the BYDs, everybody, everybody, which is crazy. We have 40 million EVs on the road. Crazy. By 2030, this is expected to scale to at least 350 million. Through the calculations that I've seen, it's closer to 400 million, but I brought it down to 350 just in case there's some slowdowns here and there. For Teslas alone, by 2030, we should be around 50 million. But I put here 40 million, you know, to, to stay conservative. Y'all already know me. I like to stay conservative. Now that we got the important notes and things that we need to know, let's go to the chart to figure out how much Tesla is going to generate in revenue, profits, the EPS, and what the stock price could be. So if you guys are ready, man, smash that like button because it's going to get juicy. Let's go. So cars. At the moment, there's 6 million vehicles on the road. We'll get to this in a bit, how much percentage we need to take because we only are taking vehicles at the moment that don't use home charging. It doesn't make sense to assume that every Tesla on the road is going to be using superchargers all the time when most of them are homeowners. It just doesn't make sense. I made a post about this on X asking you guys what percentage of Tesla owners always charge at superchargers because they don't have access to home charging and majority of you guys said 30 percent plus i'm going to cap it at 30 percent because i think that makes sense but i do reckon that when we do go forward and we do enter developed countries that number is going to be surging even more but 
We're gonna take it at 30% at the moment. We'll come back to this cars part in a bit. Average miles driven annually, 8,000 as I mentioned before. Average mileage before charging is 350. That's the average, whether it's the Model Y, 3XX, Cybertruck, whatever it is, 350. The number of times people have to supercharge when they don't have access to home charging, it's close to 23. 22.9 because it's just you know math based on the average miles driven and the average mileage before charging we got 22.9 average kilowatt per hour i put 70 here and average kilowatt price per hour is 30 cents it does range between 25 to 35 i took right smack in the middle of 30 cents per charge would be around 21 dollars and for a full year a tesla owner would have to pay around just below 500 bucks just for supercharging their vehicle, just for one vehicle. I put 7.5% here for gross profits and we'll get these numbers as well. So this is gonna be pretty juicy. Let's get down to it. So let's put 30% of 6 million. That's going to be about 1.8 million. And look at that. Total annual revenue per all Tesla vehicles on the road today is around $864 million, 7.5% in gross profits. That's just below $65 million in terms of gross profits, which kind of does make sense. When we look at the Q1 2024 earnings report, they did make about, I think it was around $84 million in just gross profits. So it looks like this could be the case. I mean, some are saying 7.5 is a bit too high. Supercharging for Tesla is extremely low margin. It's really low margin. So we can even go as low as 5%. But there's a big debate. It's either 10%, 5%. Let's just stick in, in right in between in the middle of 7.5%. When it comes to the EPS, that's only 2 cents. And if we give this a 20 PE, because this is not something, it is scalable, but it's not something that's going to generate Tesla a whole bunch of money. It's, we can't really give this a very high PE. In fact, the highest PE that I think we can even give this, which is the highest, 20. And that's maybe at 37 cents added on to the stock price. It doesn't do anything right this can't even go as 15 or even 10 i mean you know but optimistic here let's put 20 pe 37 cents like bro what is that what the heck is 47 37 cents it does nothing however though when it scales it does do something all right let's fast forward to you know 2030 with only tesla vehicles with just 40 million of them on the road at the time let's also keep it at 30 percent nothing has changed for how many cars are going to be using superchargers all the time and we get here 12 million cars using it almost 6 billion in revenue half a billion in gross profits if it's 7.5 percent again only 12 cents eps 20 pe two dollars and 50 cents for the stock price like it doesn't do anything guys okay 2030 you guys might say wait hold on maybe the price of electricity will go higher how much higher you want to go to 50 cents it doesn't do anything i mean this annual gross profit is not even reaching a billion even if you want to say it's 50 cents you want to go as high as a dollar, well, then things are going to be not much of a different than a gas car, right? At that time, maybe things will be different, but I highly doubt that electricity is going to be that expensive at a dollar. Maximum I can see is 50 cents, 60 cents at most. I'm going to go back to like a 30 cents here so we can, you know, keep it simple. But that's for all the Tesla vehicles by 2030, if 30% always, all the time, use superchargers. Now, what's going to happen when there's 350 million EVs on the road. I'm going to keep the rate 30% because I'm, well, I think at that time, rate should be even higher to 50% because, you know, when you enter developed countries, like here in Kuwait, 90, 80% of people here, they live in apartments. So you have to use superchargers. There's no way of charging at home. Absolutely no way of charging at home. So I can see this 30% going up to maybe 50% at the most. Let's see. Let's see how this will be. So let's put 350 million here at the same rate, at the same price to see how Tesla is going to benefit here. And look at that. Now we see some sort of a difference here. We have over 100 million vehicles using Tesla superchargers. That would mean $50 billion in just revenue. Maybe this can go as low as 5%. Two and a half billion in annual gross profits 72 cents in eps 20 pe that's only 14 dollars and 50 cents 40 cents 7.5 that's 21 dollars or 22 bucks per share that adds, adds on so really in a grand scheme of things this is very very it's a small business for tesla it's not something that's going to really you know 10x the stock it's not but it is going to help with the cash flow it is going to help with promoting evs out there which they do sell more vehicles and then you got the fsts on top of that and then the robot taxis oh man if we got robot taxis on the road 
and they're all electric, well, they're all going to be electric, then we can see a higher uptake in this because they're going to be doing nothing but driving around all flipping day, which is a sheesh moment. But let's increase this to 50% with, this, with the same prices and everything. Then, you know, you know, you're getting about almost 100 billion in just revenue alone, which is just absolutely insane. I mean, 50 billion, 50 billion is a lot. I mean, but then in the green, again, in the grand scheme of things, when we have this many vehicles on the road at that time, this is still going to be peanuts compared to what Tesla's doing with their full stop driving robot taxi and energy. This is probably going to be a rounding error, like how what everyone says. But nonetheless, hundred almost closing in on a hundred billion dollars in revenue is insane. Profit margins are not going to be changing. They're still going to be low as as low as possible. If you want to give that a twenty PE, that's only thirty six bucks if you add it onto the stock price or EPS of. $1.80. Now, if you want to give this a higher premium, 30 is the max, and I won't go higher than that, which is 54. But again, something like this that's not highly profitable for Tesla shouldn't make sense to give it an extremely high PE. And I do believe even a 20 is high for this. So that is a sheesh moment. And that's how Tesla can, you know, benefit from supercharging in the future. From now to the future, it's a sheesh moment and the supercharger station should not be taken lightly. I will again make this available on Patreon as soon as I clean up a little bit here and there. But you guys can see how this thing can really scale and really help Tesla in, in the broader picture for their other products. If you sell more vehicles, you can sell more software. You sell more software, you sell more vehicles, they gotta use a supercharger. Like it's a cycle of ecosystem that Tesla is mastering. It's just a sheesh moment. And again, guys, I keep saying this, I'll say it again, Tesla's transforming to a whole new company. It's just, they're just transforming. And here's the video about it. You guys can check out how they're transforming to a whole new company. The data is there, everything's there. Check it out, it's a sheesh moment. Guys, get your abundant tip t-shirt or your t-shirt in a way of supporting me, subscribe, and I shall see you guys in the next video. See ya.